Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news. Today is the 8th of September, my name is Malta and this time I have some interesting news concerning both the Unity engine and the Xbox One as CEO David Helgerson of Unity Technologies actually confirmed today that Unity will be getting Xbox One support later on this year and this was in a recent talk with the official Xbox magazine here in the UK and he said that the dev kit will support the high-end features that will make use of the Xbox One's additional power he also said that its established toolset will simplify deployment for familiar developers and he said quote Depending on which platform, there are different costs, but the fundamental thing is that the tools themselves are the same. And once you build what you want to build, you can just export it directly. So now we're adding, in collaboration with Microsoft, Xbox One support later this year, and we also worked with them to make Win the Windows Store export free. And he also went on to emphasize how simple it'll actually be to bring existing Unity titles to the next-gen Xbox One. And he said, quote, There is a toolset that we've been working on for many years that supports many platforms. From a technical perspective, the idea is that you work on your game once and then you can bring it to any platform. But we also make sure you can really make use of the hardware. So if you're running a really high-end device, you want to go crazy with shaders, you want to go crazy with particle systems, you want to use, you want to really use what is there. So what does this actually mean? Well, it means very good news for indies who are hoping to publish on the Xbox One. A lot of indie games, both free and paid, use Unity, uh, the Unity engine, excuse me, and even some of the larger games use the Unity engine as well. It's quite a robust engine and can do quite a lot actually. And numerous games I've played that have often been either free or very low cost indie games developed by a very small team of people have made use of the Unity engine. So this means we could basically see any of these titles actually make its way to the Xbox One considering that he, Helgerson actually said that you can bring any existing Unity game to the Xbox One and with the you no know, publishing fees or update fees for indies on the Xbox One. Obviously, this equals fairly good news for any indie developers out there, especially if they have a Unity game already made that perhaps was PC only up until this point, and if they can export it and bring it onto Xbox One for free, then why wouldn't they? It does open up a lot of possibilities for the indie market and for the Unity engine to grow and expand, especially if it's going to be modified to make use of the Xbox One's extra power. Of course, the Unity engine is mostly been used for PC games, so be curious to see how well it's actually used for a console game and how many games, indie games, that we previously may not have seen if, th if this hadn't had happened, um, come into the Xbox One. Now, now I hope we get something similar with the PS4 as well where any Unity engine game can come to the PS4 but it remains to be seen obviously the PS4 has got excellent indie support as well so both and the Xbox One and PS4 are making this a very good time to be an indie developer and you know to basically give you more chances to get your work out there show it to the world and with the Unity engine capability as well it seems like indie developers are definitely going to basically have their chance to really make the mark on the console market as well as of course the predominant PC market when it comes to indie games. Anyway that is me done for this video, hope you've enjoyed it, do hit me with thoughts and opinions, what possibilities do you think this could bring, what uses do you think we'll see of this Unity Engine support for the Xbox One and what Unity Engine games that were already on PC beforehand would you like to see coming to the Xbox One slash PS4, be curious to hear your thoughts. Anyway as I said that is me done, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.